Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to talk about special characters. Special characters in work decision, how to deal with that special characters if it comes in an inbound integration file, how to create an outbound integration without any special characters, how to deal with the special characters at the root itself, uh, you know, not only on the integration but at the root itself. Okay, so uh, I have created a blog, uh, I have created an article and I have, uh, you know, I'll walk you through and I'll show you some examples. So let's get started. This is the article for this video. Um, I'm going to cover the accessibility for to convert XML to XML. XML with the special characters, uh, the output will be XML without special characters. This will be more appropriate for inbound integrations. And the second topic I'm going to talk about is XML to text. That is like input is XML whereas output is a text. This is more appropriate for outbound integrations. And the third topic I'm going to talk about is solving the problem at the root, you know, instead of dealing on the integration itself, how to solve at the root itself. Okay. So before I touch these, I want to give a little bit background and then we'll jump into the details. Okay. So, uh, before I go into the details, I just want to let you know that this special characters issue with the special character is not only uh, related to Workday issue. This is, uh, you know, related to any other ERP systems like PeopleSoft, Oracle Labs or Workday or anything. But, um, uh, be but because I work on Workday and I have created solutions in Workday, so I thought I'll give you more relevant to the information, uh, more information relevant to the workday system, right? Uh, but these XMLs and XSLDs can be used in any, any, anywhere else, wherever it's appropriate, okay? And I'm going to give, I'm going to put a YouTube video uh, link here, that way it will be easier for you to follow along. And uh, if you have already followed my previous videos, this is the online XSLD uh, transformer, XML transformer, uh, you know, try if you want to try out XSLT and all. Okay. So the first topic is XML to XML. I'll show you in how input looks, what are the special characters we want to avoid, uh, and I'll I'll show you XSLT. Okay. So this is the uh, input, and all the special characters I have highlighted in a little bit different color, right? For example, you know, this is a special character. This is a hyphen. Uh, you know little bit longer hyphen and there are multiple spaces we don't want multiple spaces we just want one space that should be good and these are the tab spaces right there are two tab spaces i don't want two tab spaces uh, instead i just want uh, you know because it's the end of the word i don't want any spaces at all but if the tabs are in the middle i would just want to replace all the tabs with a single space right and then this is a hyphen um, you know, there is some kind of, a, you know, underscore, maybe it's upper score, I don't know. And, you know, trademark or all these things. I don't want to deal with all these things. I don't want to, for example, this is the input file I have received. I don't want to load all the special characters into our system, right? So this is the same XSLT here. Sorry, this is the same XML here. This is the XML input. I'm going to copy the XML into the on, online editor. And then this is the XSLT to remove the special characters. I'm going to copy here. Okay. And transform. So this is the output. If you see here, there are no special characters. All the special characters are removed. Okay. So uh, this is the output. Uh, for ease of reference, I have compare these two in a notepad plus plus uh, you can observe all the special characters are removed right if you if you observe the multiple spaces are removed with a replaced with a single space and the tab spaces are, are completely avoided because at the end it's at, at the end of the world right this is the last uh, spaces right and a hyphen is removed and maybe if it is uppercase, I'm sorry, upper score that is also removed and all the other special characters also removed. Okay. 
So the next question is, what if I don't want to treat few few of the characters as special characters? Let's just say I don't want to treat this hyphen as a special characters. What can I do? Right. So all you have to do is go here in this uh, rectangle, you know the uh, square brackets. Uh, you know, let's just say after comma, uh, add your hyphen here. That way, that won't be uh, replaced. Let's just test it out. See here, the hyphen is, uh, you know, not removed. That's it. If, if you want any special characters uh, not to be removed, all you have to do is add in this place. Uh, between the uh, square, you know, within the, sorry about that. Within the square brackets, but, uh, you know, put it at the end. Okay. So that is about XML to XML. So the second example is replacing the uh, special characters in the scenario of XML to text. This is more appropriate for outbound integration. So we don't want to send the special characters to our vendor or downstream systems. Okay. So this is the same uh, input I have considered, um, but the XSLD is a little bit different you know instead of a single place uh, we are just you know reusing the same code in multiple fields okay the same code you know here here is the heart of the code right so um, if you want to uh, you know replace if you want to keep any other special characters let's just say hyphen or something all you have to do is add here okay so uh, I'll copy this input into online XSLT uh, transformer and this is uh, XSLT okay and transform XML this is output so all the special characters are removed let's see where is the hyphen is it in the address yeah it's in the address okay so that's the third one Okay, and then transform yeah see here the hyphen is not replaced so that is about the um, you know replacing special characters of in the you know input is XML and output is a text okay so the third and uh, the very interesting concept is solving the problem at the root itself right so instead of dealing on the integration itself, why don't we solve the problem at the root? So there could be many reasons why we get uh, special characters into the system, workday system or any other system for that matter. So uh, it's not only our uh, responsibility as an integration team, but also even business users and uh, business analysts, they, they feel that it's not appropriate to have special characters. So I thought, okay, I'll make them uh, responsible to replace the special characters all I have done is I have created a report to identify the special characters uh, in name and address because those two are the most commonly uh, you know common places where we may have special characters and that causes some issues in our system or in the downstream systems so to begin with uh, you know after two to three months of implementation we went live with the workday I have created a report uh, to identify the special characters i made the business users are responsible to correct the special characters so let's just say hris team uh, some some person in hr team i have scheduled this integration at 8 am not the integration sorry a report uh, at 8 am and then it will identify all the employees uh, for whom either in the name or in the address there is a special characters and the business users has to replace or correct that information right that way as soon as the employees let's just say employees getting hired today uh, at 8 am they are going to correct that right so eventually in the evening or sometime the integration is running it won't pick up the special characters at all so that is the beauty of it so let me tell you after we have done uh, this report the the integration issues uh, has significantly came down especially at the vendor side because workday uh, workday 
accept many specific characters whereas the downstream systems won't accept uh, you know too many uh, specific characters okay so um, i hope uh, this video was very helpful to you uh, and um, yeah if you have any questions comments just uh, please reach out to me you can comment to the same article or you can comment to the video or anything okay uh, have a nice day bye